Hello, and welcome to the Extraordinary Bug Reporting Guide video. This video will provide visual and audio evidence of bugs and issues found in the game space to help aid the development team in resolving bugs and other complications discovered in my playthrough of the gameplay experience. My first bug is the exterior map escape bug. This severe bug allows the player to escape from the collider's bounds of the beginning exterior environment and seemingly walk outside the bounds of the map. Using this special jump, the player is able to access points beyond the visual boundaries of the level and walk in spaces that are not meant for player access, which results in the player falling off the edge of the map and disappearing from the scene entirely. This bug ends the player's ability to complete the gameplay experience since it results in the loss of the main player character's location and orientation in the active game space. After encountering this bug, resetting to the main menu and reloading the level is necessary for the player to continue playing through the game. This bug is highly repeatable. Escaping the map when located in the exterior part of the level is very repeatable. It only requires the learned knowledge of which point in the exterior level space the player is able to jump over. The second bug in this video is the bathroom wall missing collider bug. This general bug, which can also have severe results, happens when the player climbs the stalls in the first interior room of the game space. While standing on top of the eastmost stall, the player is able to jump and phase through the upper section of the wall, which allows the player to return if minimal inputs are recorded, but can also result in the total loss of the player character's orientation in the game space. The bathroom wall missing the collider breaks the player's gameplay experience and causes potential game-breaking mechanics like being able to access parts of the map unintended for player access. This bug can also halt the progression of the game by allowing the player to get stuck in parts of the map and requiring the player to fully restart the level to continue through the gameplay experience. This bug is easily repeatable since knowing where the location of the non-collidable mesh is the only knowledge required to replicate it. I think having more playtesting hours and doing more tests to ensure that all walls and floors in the level have collision attributes could definitely help discover bugs like this earlier on in the development cycle. The third bug in this video is the mislabeled controls bug. This minor bug involves the controls that are described in the main menu section under the settings. The controls described in the image state that the escape key is used to pause and unpause the game, but the image is actually incorrectly labeled. In the game, the escape key quits the game to desktop, while the P key is the actual pause and unpause button. This bug causes a minor inconvenience to the player and could accidentally ruin their run of the game and take them completely out of the gameplay experience. After the first time closing the game, the player learns about the binding issue, but unknowingly hitting the key during a playthrough could cause undue frustration in the player. This bug is easily replicated since it involves a visible image that is incorrectly labeled within the gameplay experience and involves the concrete key bindings established by the developers in this version of the build. I think this issue might have been caused by some sort of miscommunication amongst the team or purely on accident, but more communication between the team and ensuring the controls displayed replicate the actual key bindings established would help eliminate issues like this making it into the final build. The fourth bug in this video is the floating bouncy ball bug. This general bug occurs at locations where the player spawns into the level or has had its orientation transformed, like when entering a new room with a checkpoint in the game space. The bouncy ball is usually attached to the paddle ball item that the character holds and can be found as a non-static collidable mesh floating in the middle of the floor detached from all aspects of the character. This bug is an issue with the mesh or prefab attached to the player's paddle ball item and displays a misplaced visual mesh of the rubber ball object. Seeing improper visuals in the game space breaks the player's immersion and leaves the player confused as to why the mesh is located there and if it was intended by the designers. This bug involves a static mesh that is visually displayed in the same location every time the game starts. It is easily replicated since the mesh are constant features in this current build of the game and will not change unless adjusted in the game's engine. I think reviewing the prefabs and meshes that were associated with the paddle ball mechanic would help solve this issue, and as always, more game testing could have helped catch this visual issue earlier in the development pipeline. The fifth and final bug in this video is the paper towel machine's jump bug. When the player collides with the vertical sides of the paper towel machine in the room past the second door, they are able to continuously jump as long as contact remains constant with the vertical sides of the mesh. When sliding down the side or coming into contact with the vertical sides of the paper towel machine, the player is able to consistently jump and never touch the floor. This breaks the player's emergent and knowledge of the already established physics system in the game by allowing mechanics that seem out of place and unintentional. This bug is not difficult to recreate since it involves a constant issue with the code's interaction between the player controller and static mesh of the paper towel machine. I think ensuring that the code and tags that are used to communicate between the two game objects 
Ready are working properly could have helped catch this game issue earlier in the Turning development process. His Those are all the bugs that I have for this video. Thank you for watching my extraordinary bug reporting guide, and I hope you have a wonderful day.